um, take over this. There we go. Click, and we have it. Yeah, we click on any of the other buttons, it will just uh, do nothing because we we didn't handle it in our on-click method. Uh, let's do another one for uh, button number two. So let's copy the whole thing because it's pretty much the same, very similar. So we change the name to be instead of one, we will show two button dialog, and uh, everything will be in the same format. Let's create a title for this. Uh, this will be delete, confirm, and change the text for the message. Are you sure? You want to delete this, and we have the positive buttons. Say same. Let's add to the negative button. So set negative button. Uh, the button will be no. Actually, let's change this to yes. Make more sense in this uh, situation. And then we will create a handler for this interface interface dot on click listener put semicolon over there and uh, again let's just make a toast next text get application context the text we want to put is you click no and then the duration will be toes dot short and show so the show method will, will show the toes if we don't call this method then nothing will happen um, and change this to you click yes so that's all for uh, the second case so second case will be button number two show two button dialog break and let's run it two button dialog sure it is are you one are you sure the list is uh, actually there is um Click yes, you click yes, click no, you click no, the first button still work, the third one, fourth, fifth doesn't work because we haven't implemented it. So you see, the handler, the, um, the dialog interface on click listener actually handle the click of these buttons, not this. So I uh, just want to make sure on that. And uh, let's do another one for the uh, three button dialog. Let's copy from the second one because it will be more similar to that. Set two, make it three. <coughs> Change the title to be save, confirm. Do you want to save this file? And instead of saying you click yes, we change a little bit. Uh, you selected yes. And you selected no. And for this one, we add into the third button, which is the neutral button. The text for that is cancel. The listener will be the same dialog interface dot conflict listener and let's add the semicolon over here we make a toast make text um, get application context you select it cancel the duration would be toast dot length short dot show and 
that's it. We finish the third one. Uh, let's add it in here. Case or ID button number three. If button number three is clicked, then we show three button dialog and break. It will react the same. So uh, let's add the the fourth one too. So the fourth one is uh, a little different. It, instead of showing uh, some button dialog, we're showing the list dialog. And in this list, we need to create a a string array to be uh, say colors the red blue and yellow, yellow. Um, the title would be um, select a color instead of the set message we'll call set items set items this will create a list for us so uh, passing colors and the listener would be uh, new dialog interface dot on click listener and there's no buttons in here so let's delete this positive button okay uh, let's create a toast make text in this one we will use the second parameters to determine which one is click on so uh, select text and then the text would be um, colors which duration will be toast dot length short and then we show the toast okay we need to change to final in order to call this now um the this parameter will return so the list we have item you know item zero item one and item two and which will return which one of this is click on and uh, let's see it in action view that and we'll reinstall this there it is let's test the three buttons and three buttons works Let's test the list dialog. So when we click on it, oh, um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't do this. That's why we need to add to the fourth case, which is show list dialog and click. And now run again. And here we go. This dialog. Sure enough, select a color. Blue. And I click blue. Try again. Red. And it is red. Okay, it's working. The last case is also very similar to this. We create a um, dialog with radio buttons. So radio buttons dialog. Pretty much in same format. Set the title instead of set item. What we do is we will set set uh, um, unique thing or single choice item. Set single choice item. Set any single choice item. This is columns. This is native one. This will be the on click listener. 
The reason we put in negative one is the second parameters of this is um, will be the default item that they will choose for us. In this case, we don't want them to pick to choose any item, so none of the item will be default. Uh, and for that, we put negative one in a phase not on the listener. And last, uh, delete this, which will show the list. So, let's do something here. Make a toast. Make text. Get application context. Colors. Which. And toast. Make it short. There we go. Now let's hook up the last button. So, so case if ID is button five, then we show radio button dialog break. Save it. Run it. And should finish by right now. There we go. So here's the radio button. Blue, red, yellow. This one we had. We need to uh, click the back buttons in order for it, for it to go back. And here's the uh, list. No. Okay. Now, um, one last thing I want to show you is how to um, add an icon. So this is very easy. Uh, First of all, you need to find an icon, so go ahead and go to Google. Here is the delete icon that I searched. Uh, pick the one that you like and download it to your computer. So, um, here's I have, let's go to my, my icon. So here's I have some icons that I downloaded. This is save icon. Let's use that. I'll show you once and it will it works the same for all of them. So um uh let's so in here as you as as you see in here there's there's three folder um drawable XDPI, LDPI, MDPI. Uh what it means is um the XDPI is the high definition, MDPI is medium, and this is low. So um for them let's check 32 is the low one. So copy and paste in here, and let's copy the 48. Copy to be save it to be um, medium, and the 64 is going to be large. And then when you click in here, sure enough we have save, save, save for three different size. Now in here, our uh, second our second dialog, or actually our third dialog, is the one that asks the user to save. So let's um, make the icon for that. So after set message, we can do dialog builder dot set icon, and then the way we call this is r resource dot drawable dot save. And let's run it again. And we will test this case. And you see this the icons here. Very nice and very very easy. So uh, if you want to add icon, that's how that's how you do it. And uh that's that's pretty much cover all the um all the type for alert dialog. Um Thank you everyone. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please um, post it below. And um, thank you for watching.